Let's have a look at a question using the compound interest formula and where we've got to work out one of the other variables. This question reads, Vangali invests 6,110 rand into an account which pays out a lump sum at the end of seven years. If he gets 8,904 rand and 30 cents at the end of the period, what compound interest rate did the bank offer him? Give the answer correct to one decimal place. 6,110 rand is the value of P, your initial amount. N will be seven years. If he gets 8,904 rand and 30 cents at the end of the period, that's the final accumulated amount, and that is A. What compound interest rate does he get? What is I? We see that we have all the variables except for the interest rate, I. Therefore, using the formula A equals P, open brackets, 1 plus I, close brackets, to the power of N, we can put in the value for A, P and N and work out the value of I. Divide both sides by P. This is equal to, open brackets, 1 plus I, close brackets, raised to the power of n. Remember, you're trying to get to i, since the expression on the right-hand side is raised to the power of n. We will then need to get rid of that power n by taking the nth root on both sides. We take the nth root of a divided by p is equal to 1 plus i. Therefore, i is going to be equal to the nth root of a divided by p, minus 1. Remember, this still needs to be multiplied by 100 to get the percentage value. Now let's put in the values we have. We know that n is 7. The accumulated amount, a, is 8,904 and 30 cents, and the value p is 6,110, minus 1, Find the seventh root of 8,904,30 divided by 6,110 minus 1. And hit the equals, and that will give us a decimal form. And our answer is 0, 0.055274661961966 multiplied by 100, which gives us 5.52746619. This is where we're going to be rounding off, and rounding off to one decimal place, I will get my interest rate in percentage form at 5,5%.